Good day YouTube viewers, welcome back to my VT73 channel. Today we are doing an update on our compressed air rockets. I've got another rocket being built today as an emergency backup. On this new rocket. It's quite interesting. So I'm just going to balance these two rockets on its balancing point. It's a very interesting result. They're both exactly the same length from each other. It's kind of just balancing it at nice and easy. So they're exactly the same length. That's as far. I'll probably miss about two, three mils from each other from end to end. There is an engine block, plastic engine block in the inside been hot glued then I've added the usual body tube outside as the rest of them and left it halfway so half in the tube and half sticking out so I'm trying to copy the ones that are that have worked in the past such as this one the same as this one Again, exactly the same length. The only difference now is it's the actual winning fin design that I'm always happy with. There are four nails, bullet bullet nails in the back. So there's two on that one and two on that one, but none none of those two. So it worked out well. Again, on Challenger, there are no nails, no screws, but the balancing point of both of them are pretty much the same. And once again, both lengths are the same. With the new one, I've only taken this much off from the actual paper. And the weight with Challenger, as we know, with Challenger, it's 100 grams. With the, with that piece that I cut off just before, this rocket now weighs 90 grams. Exactly 90 grams. So it will be a great thing to watch when it's out on a launch pad. Because they're almost both identical in terms of length. The pivot point. The only difference is again is the fin design in the back. And the other difference is the weight. So 100 grams for the Challenger and 90 grams for get weight. Get ready for the naming of the new rocket. Challenger 2. Yes, that's right. I've named this Challenger 2. The question is, can this outperform Challenger 1 somewhat? See, seeing how it's 90, 90 grams or 10 grams less than Challenger 1. We'll find out when we get to the pad. Stands proudly, nice and tall. We've still got Endeavour 3 to test. So it'll be fun to watch these two go up. And as we know, Challenger 1 has outperformed. It's, uh, it's performed beyond my expectation, of course. Being a hefty weight of 100 grams. 
um, it's done well. So in case I am going to launch it above the 100 PSI again, I've added two more electrical tapes around it. Uh, with this one, again, I've added some structural protection. So electrical tape, one, two, three, four. You always want to put some tape towards the end, a bit further up. And of course, you want some uh, protection up the front end as well. So there's no super glue here, um, which is what's, what's given me issues with previous rockets. Uh, hot glued, hot glue inside, hot glue outside, and that's pretty much it. I'm living in that. So an interesting competition to see which one will perform best. So till next time, guys. Stay tuned for the next episode. So, bye for now.